Virgo Summon Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for December 27, 2021. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Christmas, sweeties. Uh, thank you so much for all the for all the wishes and and um, wishing me a Merry Christmas. I appreciate you all so, so much. Uh, if you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. I do read for all 12 signs, not only Virgos. Uh, let's get a Virgos, tarabarbie.com, coming with the Ace of Wands, the Fool card, and the Queen of Sword Energy. Virgo, somebody here wants to come towards you guys here, right? But, but they might be a little bit ex upset, very much so um, exhausted as well with the connection between you and them. So they want to have a new opportunity here with you with the Ace of Wands, but they're very much so hesitant at the exact same time. They're a little bit worried and nervous about how they're going to want to approach you as well, right? Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, it looks like they're going to be coming in and making the decision uh, to come back for you guys. They want to be with you. They want to have the Ten of Pentacles. They want to have a, a relationship, a foundation here with you as well. But there was just so much mystery. This person's very mysterious, Virgos, because the way that they move in life is like, Nothing can hold this person down, you know what I mean? And because they're the, they're the fool, they're always on the go. They're always coming and going. Um, and that's the thing that's going to be about them for the rest of their lives with the moon card. So even if you guys were to get connected with them again or reunite with them again or build a relationship with them, this is not somebody you're going to be able to hold down. You're not going to be like telling them or vice versa, um, who are you talking to? Yo. <laughs> this is not you you can't talk to this person like that they're a free spirit they'll do what they want to do when they want to do it they'll have respect for you but you're not to hold them down no way virgos um at the end of the day they do desire you and they want to come back for you and, and everything like that um they're trying to use their intuition and and the, somebody here might be seeing the numbers 10 10 and also 1007 here as well, Virgos. Like that's the numbers that they might be seeing, or you guys are seeing these numbers here as well. Uh, but I'm just letting you guys know that this this reunion is coming in for you guys. Um, this is definitely somebody who was a player on you and who who did not treat you all that great. But it looks like during Mercury retrograde and Venus retrograde, they are in fact going to be coming back for you guys. So when they come for you, right, you guys are going to be speaking up, saying what you need to say. They are going to be re approaching you, Virgos. They have done what they needed to do to heal themselves, but they're still coming in as a page. So they still, they still have a little bit of growing up here to do. They've gone through a lot of bad luck as well, but they're hoping that they're going to be able to reunite with you guys at the same time. Somebody here who might be very spiritual or however the case is, they are very much so selfish in their own ways here, Virgos. Like they, they'll do whatever it is that they need to do to get to have all their abundance filled with the Nine of Cups energy. So that means they have to kick people down. If that means they have to do whatever, whatever it is that they need to do to get to the top, that's exactly what they're going to do. But the way that they're doing it is very much so selfish with the Five of Swords, Nine of Cups, and the Hierophant. They're going to do whatever it is that they need to do to to get to where their their vision is. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you call cheating at life <laughs> uh five of swords nine of cups and the hierophant there at the end of the day though sweeties um some of you guys may have also defeated your enemies coming with the five of swords you guys are going to be free just now uh you guys are in fact divinely protected with the hierophant there as well virgos god has uh has definitely taken care of you guys you guys have gone through so much shit with the ten of sword energy like real ten like real shit virgos like you guys kept yeah okay so be careful on who it is that you guys are messing with. The people who bounce back from everything that was meant to destroy them, those are God's people, straight up, Ten of Swords, because you do everything with love. There's not a lot of people out here who work with love, Virgos. So for that, you guys are always going to be able to get up no matter what. No matter how many times people hurt you, no matter how much people send energy your way, no matter how many times people want to betray you, be two-faced with you, um, and all that shit, you guys are all, will always be able to bounce back from that crap, all right? You guys have been left out in the cold for quite some time, Virgos, but there's going to be a complete ending here, uh, specifically for an Aries Leo Sagittarius. So this person is not going to be able to come back for you guys, Virgos. You guys are going to be leaving this person out in the cold, even if they're going to try and come back and, and, and try and be with you here at the same time. Aries Leo Sagittarius, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, uh, a Taurus there as well. Uh, at the end of the day, they did nothing but except bring a lot of destructive energy into your life. Very corrupt energy too. This person is not willing to change, but they are still having some sort of hold on you at the exact same time. But there's not going to be able, anything's going to be able to come out of this. Virgo, the six of, six of Wands reversed. 
Five of Wands, Ace of Cups, Eight of Swords, Ten of Cups in reverse. The fuck for what? The fuck for what, Virgos? On a real note, though, right? You guys are not going to be able to get anything out of this person. They're not going to get anything out of you. You guys are going to continue to fight. There's no love there. You guys are going to be extremely overwhelmed, emotionally overwhelmed as well. If you were to even put yourself back in a position like this again with this person, right? And it's just a lot of stupid shit here, Virgos. Eight of Swords in reverse. And ten, like, you guys are not going to be happy. No way. No way. Ten of Cups in reverse. You're going to be emotionally unsatisfied, emotionally unhappy. You're going to always be stressed out. Like, why did I get myself back in a connection with this person for? What was the reason why I had to go back to them after everything that they've done to me? Why did you guys do that? So please make sure that you guys are staying cautious of this person's behavior and um, and their patterns as well. So that way you guys don't put yourselves in this exact same cycle here because somebody here with the wheel card in reverse, uh, that they're not listening, Virgos. Somebody here is not listening. Somebody here continues to repeat the exact same cycles over and over again. It's almost like a... I'm seeing the judgment card all of a sudden. So... The spirit's like technically trying to get you guys' attention and, and, it's, and it's a test from the universe. Are you guys going to be going back to this person after everything that they've done to you? After all the secrets that they put you through, all the manipulation, all of the uh, gassing you um, and all that crazy shit, Virgos? Are you guys willing to put up? Like, this is the ugliest fucking spread I've ever seen. Five of Wands, Six of Wands, Ace of Cups reversed. Eight of Swords reverse, Ten of Cups. What the? Who the hell would want to go through something like that? This is this is mind over matter. This is literally your peace or destructive energy, abusive energy, um, dysfunctional fucking home. The fuck for what? Virgos, please choose wisely on who it is that you guys want in your energy um, and who you're willing to forgive after everything they put you through. You already had 10 stories in your back and you felt left out in the cold too by this person. Like they abandoned you so many times because they wasn't ready to be the man that you, or man or woman that you wanted them to be. And even if they were to come back, you're you're coming in with crazy energy. They're coming in with, they're not able to bring you nothing, Virgos. Please, they can't do nothing for you. Six of Wands reverse, no victory. Uh, this person's like almost a hateful enemy for you guys at the same time. Fighting, domestic abuse, Ace of Cups. There's no fucking love here. It's false love. Eight of Swords in reverse, always causing so many accidents. I'm seeing like a glass shattering, breaking. <sighs> dysfunctional home, dysfunctional relationship, not the wickedest thing you can possibly think of at the end of the day. Do you expect a message coming in from this person? They're incredibly unbalanced uh, because of the fact that they be missing you a whole lot with the Six of Cups. They daydreaming about you too here, Virgos. Uh, so do you expect messages coming in from this person. If you guys are going to end up seeing a lot of birds out of nowhere, just know that those are messages of birds. That's like letting you know, like, yo, know, message, messages from people are going to be coming in just now. What are you going to do about it, right? Although you guys have a lot of happiness here. So you guys have done everything you guys needed to do to heal yourself, to become happy. You guys have... <sighs> You guys are reaching your victory here, Virgos, okay? And it may literally make you guys so sad at the same time. Like, how did you guys go through from all of this shit to being able to be happy, victorious? And it does make you guys sad at certain times, not because of the fact that, oh, I'm sad because I'm happy. No, it's like, shit, I went through all that crap and I'm finally freeing myself and becoming happy again. You you know, it's very emotional. Somebody here is a happy crier is what I'm picking up with the Five of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Sun card. Somebody here cries when they're happy. And you guys have had a lot of deceitful people coming into your life. A lot of people who talk a lot of shit to you. Cancer energy here as well. This person's, you know, a fraud. Fucking fraud, Burkos. Fucking fraud. Knight of Cups in reverse. A fraudulent fucking person. So selfish. Only thinks about themselves. I'm seeing an Audi all of a sudden. Somebody here has a white Audi. Uh, Virgo, somebody here also has a white Honda, somebody here also drives very, very fast, but their whip isn't fast at all, or it sounds very fast, or... <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, Virgo, <laughs> okay, grow up Barbie, okay, <laughs> somebody... Oh my god, somebody here has, I'm so sorry, for, I'm so, I'm so sorry, Virgos, you know what I mean, because, <laughs> okay, somebody here has a car that's very, very loud, that even, <laughs> that even if they were to push, like, 70 or something, 
and they're only going like 40. <laughs> but they act like it's a they act like it's a fast car. So somebody here has a loud car, but I swear that car don't be moving at all, right? At the end of the day, though, Virgos, uh, pardon me, okay? Uh, four of Wands in reverse, the temperance. <laughs> So, Virgin, you guys have been through a lot of competition here as well. Like, it's it's on a real note. Okay, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is going to be going through a whole lot of shit at the moment. Like, a complete ending is going to be coming in for this person. They're also going to be going be be left in poverty. They're going to be left out in the cold and maybe even hurt, but hurt really, really badly when they realize that everything that, that was meant to destroy you did not destroy you. And you're able to bounce out of that shit real quickly because you guys are the chosen ones. You guys are God's favorite people. And God always takes care of you and protects you at the exact same time. Also, Virgos, you guys have a lot of enemies around you who are wanting to compete with you. But the thing is that they don't realize is that you guys are the ones that are most most protect because you guys work with your hearts here. You guys are working with with love here. You guys are just genuine and sincere people at the same time. So all your enemies with the 5 of wands, 6 of wands in reverse they're no longer going to have any abundance. They're going to be really, really stressed out and they're not going to be emotionally happy anymore. It's almost as if that if this Aries Leo Sagittarius person here, uh, if they ended up, ha if they if they had everything in the world, uh, they're not going to have everything in the world anymore. Uh, Ten of Cups in reverse, all right? At the end of the day, they're very much so competitive here too uh, with the Temperance card. Four of Wands. So this somebody here is also watching your harvest here, Virgos, with the Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sagittarius energy, Cancer energy there as well, Taurus energy, uh, Aries energy. Uh, this person is like watching your harvest for whatever the fuck for what. I don't know why why they so invested in you. Maybe they need to go focus on themselves. Maybe when the, when their life goes like broop, upside down, they're gonna start watching you and, and seeing taking notes. Uh, yeah, Virgo, somebody here is gonna start taking notes on how it is that you're moving in life. Uh, at the end of the day, your move can't be done until my move is done first. So for that, you're always gonna be behind. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, at the end of the day, though, Virgos, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person most likely is going to be coming back towards you guys uh, for a relationship. Energy is going to be bouncing back in and out, in and out, in and out, Virgo. So, you know, you know what I'm going to say? So, okay, so four of wands are going to try and come back for you, but at the end of the day, you guys are having a disunion. You guys are having a disconnection at the same time with the Temperance card. At the bottom of the deck, I got the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the Judgment card. You guys are coming to the realization, Virgos. Wow, so much fucking men, guys. <laughs> oh, all on you guys. What is this, Virgos? Ooh, Virgos, what's going on? Y'all got like three fucking men that are wanting you, Virgos. You guys got three fucking men, three fucking women, Virgos. Oh my goodness, what in the world, okay? Yo, this Queen of Wands don't give a shit about any of them. Yo, I'm not even joking. <laughs> King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Eight of Cups, Queen of Wands. You're getting the hell out of there. Every single person that's going to be coming in from your past, okay, is all of a sudden coming to the realization that they need to come back and make amends with you. They're like, shit, oh my god, I can't believe it. I've come to the realization during Mercury Retrograde that I love my Virgos. And <laughs> who the fuck talks like that? That I love my Virgos. And I need to get back to Virgos here. And Spirit is like really nicking at them. But they they, they want to come in with a lot of integrity and a lot of love at the same time. And they want to communicate here with you. But even when they communicate with you, Virgos, you guys are so be moving on with your life. You guys are coming in as the Queen of Wands. You're very loving. People are recognizing you. They're seeing you. They, 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 uh, they all come to the realization, Virgos, that you were the one for them. But the thing is, with you being the Queen of Wands, you're fine without them at the end of the day. But they're not going to be fine without you, <laughs> magician card. <clears throat> Somebody here might go ahead and try and do some sort of spell work on you, Virgos, to try and get you to come back. But it doesn't matter. It's not working. You guys are still going to move on with your life at the end of the day. All right? Coming with the page of cups energy. Oh, Virgos, something here is going to end up happening, okay? So even if it doesn't work the first couple times, it might end up taking about six times for this person to do spell work on you guys for you guys to reach back out to them. If all of a sudden you guys are getting, okay, I'm going to reach out to them. They keep, you know, maybe because they're trying so hard with spell work to, 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 to uh, speak to you or to get you to speak to them. So please be mindful, Virgos, because you guys are the queen of wands. You guys should know better than that. Um, you should know better than that. You should know when somebody's in your energy. Uh, at the end of the day, though, Virgos, you guys got so many men who are many men, many women who are trying to come back towards you. They also want to talk to you at the same time. Somebody here may have also left you, and all of a sudden they're wanting to come back for you after the fact that they are the ones that left you, right? They left you first, 
and now they want to come back and apologize to you. Uh, star card, Gemini energy, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Somebody here is is seeing you as a star Virgo. So they think that you're so beautiful and they are starting to like literally fall in love with you at the same time. But this person might be a little bit indecisive as of right now, especially during the full moon energy. Or this is going to be you, that Virgo. You guys are going to be like really wondering like, yo, what is this connection? <laughs> like this person's rushing towards you like they're going to be taking action on you virgos with the two of cups the knight of swords uh the hermit two of swords lovers star card this person literally sees you as a star they see you as somebody who's so shining you everywhere you go you just bloom uh they find you so beautiful so attractive even your persona the way that you're so introverted and you're always in hermit mode it like this it it turns this person on with the fact that some somebody here is not for the streets, Virgos. <laughs> Someone here is not for the streets. And this person is absolutely infatuated with you with the fact that you don't care about the amount of attention that you guys get. Anybody can call you beautiful at the end of the day. <laughs> words are just words. You see what I mean? Action is very important. Knight of Swords are coming for you, Virgos. You guys may be a little bit indecisive when this person tries to reach out to you. Uh... Uh, at the end of the day, it could potentially be a soulmate connection with the Two of Cups energy, all right? You guys have a little bit of uh, reflecting that you guys are going to need to be doing with the Two of Wands, maybe asking the universe for a sign, because you guys have carried a lot of burden with the Ten of Wands, so you guys might want to... Virgos, it's time to shed the old... You guys are not the same person as you guys was before. It's time to shed that old skin and, and move on and be the person that you guys are meant to be. You are not the same person that you were six months ago, four weeks ago, a week ago. You're not. So... If someone's coming in to show you that they really care about you and they want to love you and everything, if you are reciprocating the exact same feelings, then I would say, yeah, go for it and see what happens. You know what I mean? Don't don't put more burden on yourself because of all the shit that you guys have gone through. A lot of you guys have gone into hermit mode and, you know, I just heard it like the next, next Netflix and chill, not with other people, but by yourself. That's how you guys move. You're like, yeah, I'd rather be alone, whatever the case is, you know, sweeties. But uh, there's a little bit of stagnated energy there as well. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this person wants to come towards you. They want to tell you, Virgos, that they that they see you as somebody who's so beautiful. Somebody here acts very, very ignorant with the Empress card, Four of Pentacles. Like this person's trying to reach out to you and you're just like, no, I don't. I mean, I want to give you nothing. <laughs> I don't want all right, like they want to put work in the situation between you and them, all right? Uh, they're like literally going to become obsessed with you at the same time you guys are in fact the divine feminine and when you guys act like oh no i don't i don't need you i don't need nothing from you because you guys are always in hermit mode you guys have learned your lessons you guys have gone through so many cycles so much burden so much abuse so much bullshit virgos that when this person reaches out to you and you guys are like sitting in your power it's literally going to turn this person on devil card they're going to become a little bit lustful and also, uh, maybe even obsessed with you guys here at the uh, tube, right? Uh, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, there's going to be a little bit of fucked up shit going on here as well. You guys are going to be using your intuition, maybe even staying silent from this person because you guys know that this person's acting a little bit wild, Capricorn energy. They are going to put on, they are going to want to put work in the situation between the two of you guys, but they are going to be really much so stressed out with the Nine of Swords. They're trying to find wisdom. Like this person's going to be sitting on the couch for goes, trying to figure out like where the fuck did they go wrong. Somebody here thinks that if they pay their dues with you, that their karma is going to in fact just go away out, out of nowhere. They think that their karma is because of the way that they treated you. Somebody here thinks that their car that they're getting karma in their life because of the way that they treated you with the Six of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, because they're seeing that you're living your life. Nine of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Empress card, and they're just they're just going through a lot of shit at the moment. Um, you guys may be going through a little bit of stress here too, Virgo, when it comes to this person's energy, because you're probably feeling how toxic it is. But it's saying everything will be end up balancing out. Somebody here did something bad to a high priestess, a divine feminine or a divine masculine. It's saying that this person is going to be getting their karma with the six of pentacles. That anything that this person tried to do on you when it comes to a workplace, when it comes to a work setting, anything of this nature here, Virgos, is just saying that you guys are, this is what you're destined to do with the nine of pentacles. So anybody who tries to hurt you, destroy you, any, it's always going to be balanced out. Six of pentacles, you really don't have to do anything. You are, in fact, the high priestess. So for that, it's... It's a done deal, Virgos. Done deal. People out here being hurting people for no fucking reason. Just because they be envious on on, on, on people for, for stupid shit. That doesn't give you the right to fucking hurt people. It doesn't give you the right to hurt people just because you're feeling a type of way. Why don't you get out of your feelings so that way you can probably see the world for exactly what it is. And then when you get out of your own feelings, maybe <laughs> stop giving your power away to people. Emperor card. 
page of swords so this person is going to be watching you spying on you here as well right virgo this person is like really really not feeling all that great because they thought that they maybe you were the one that they were going to marry here too <sighs> somebody here was supposed to get proposed to or get engaged or married to but the engagement ended up splitting up breaking up whatever the case is and someone's really really upset about it with the four of cups like they're just really hating life at the moment because you were the one that they were meant to be with but somebody ended up taking off and moving on right maybe it was a because of work they had to move on with their life or whatever the case is but they want to come back and they want to make the relationship work here sweeties all right but you guys are too focused on your work now with the eight of pentacles excuse me and the queen of pentacles uh Taurus Virgo Capricorn Aries Taurus Libra Leo energy uh this person Gemini Libra Aquarius this person wants to come towards you but they've been moving very slowly to come for you but they want to come and bring you uh, uh a gift here as well sweeties they want they they're they're going to want to show you that you're that they're more in control of their emotions at the same time uh but the same thing Virgos you guys are standing in your power you're the king of pentacles you're grounded you're focusing on your money you're focusing on your own harvest the things that you have created there too Cancer Pisces Scorpio you guys got the world coming towards you guys Virgos you guys hold a lot of secrets with the seven of wands nobody can nobody will ever be able to know anything about you when it comes to this person if anybody ever came to this person and asked you asked them something about you they're never going to say anything no they won't no they won't there's also going to be a, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who's going to be going through a lot of shit Virgos uh whoopsies they're going to be going through a lot of shit coming with the tarot card somebody here is going to end up in a, some sort of psych ward four of swords they're going to be really hurt um also virgos cps is going to be coming towards somebody's house and somebody here is going to be really, really heartbroken if they get taken away, the kids get taken away. Also, Virgo is going to be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio uh, who's going to be going through a lot of shit here, all right, with the tarot card. Maybe somebody here is going to end up in some sort of uh, psych, in a psych ward here, which is going to end up leaving them very much so heartbroken and hurt. I don't know if it's going to be the best place for this person to be because they're going to be really, really isolated and it's not going to be the best thing for them. But at the end of the day, there is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who's going to be going through tower moment after tower moment after tower moment. And these tower moments are not going to stop for this person, Virgos, because of the shit that they've done to you, they've done way too much shit for you. They've attacked you way too fucking many times with the Seven of Wands energy. They attacked you way too fucking many times with the Seven of Wands energy. Way too many times. Too many times they've attacked you. And you guys have to defend yourself every single time. And, you know, with the Seven of Wands, that's not you defending yourself one time over one time over. No, these are attack over attack over attack, spiritual fucking attacks in, 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 and you're having to fight all by yourself. Like, you guys, maybe this Cancer Pisces Scorpio had other people here attacking you at the exact same time. This person doesn't realize what they've done. They got nothing but bad shit coming, bad, bad shit coming towards them with the, with the tarot card. This person might be mentally ill. They might end up in jail, hurt, heartbroken. But justice is going to prevail, Virgos. They are going to, in fact, be getting their karma. And it's nobody's business but their own. The only thing I can suggest is if you guys are going to be able to see the shit that this person is going to be going through, I would suggest you guys stay humble about it because every one that this person had done to attack you and hurt you in some sort of way, they're going to get it. Like a hundred times more so yeah you they hurt you okay but you guys are <coughs> <coughs> ah, they don't want me talking about it okay so at the end of the day no i am gonna talk about it don't tell me what to do <laughs> 701 all right so no you you guys um you guys even know that this Cancer Pisces Scorpio has hurt you and attacked you so many times, maybe even on a spiritual level, even on magic or whatever the case is. But the thing is, they may have hurt you so many times, Virgos, and betrayed you. Maybe this is a person that could have been a friend for you, too, uh, in the past there as well. But um, everything that they were trying to do to hurt you, they're going to end up feeling it much, much worse than you would have ever. You thought that you guys were going through it? Yes, you guys were definitely going through it, Virgos. Um... 100%. However, though, this person here is going to get it 
100 times more by the universe. Justice's card is there. The sword is down. They're calling judgment on the situation there, Virgos, and they're not happy about it. They're going to, this person is going to end up being judged or they're being tested right now and they're being judged. And if, if, if the scale weighs out that their intentions of why it is that they did you the way that they did you is going to be heavier than the feather alone. No. Fucking karma. That shit needs to be back. You have to work with love and light. That's the whole purpose of this universe when we transcend and ascend. If you're not working on a light and love type of intention and your scale is much more heavier than the friggin' feather or your heart, then expect tower after tower destructive energy jail time somebody here is going to be going to jail with the four of swords the tower card and the three of sword energy someone's going to jail someone is also going to be going into a psych ward as well someone here is also going to try and avoid jail and go to uh, a psych ward instead and that's how they're going to pay their time like look three of swords like this looks like somebody who's mentally ill here who is trying to avoid jail and they're trying to claim that they have a mental illness so that way they don't have to go to jail, jail, and they end up going to psych ward jail, for instance. Yeah, shit's about to fucking go down, Virgos. If you guys hear about it, you did not hear this shit from me. Thanks, cuties. Bye.